Hello and welcome back to Connection to Excellence, where I decided to interview some very successful entrepreneurs and also entrepreneurs who are on their way to get really successful. And today my guest is uh, Mark Oswald. And Mark Oswald is a digital nomad. It, it, he is a professional storyteller, storyteller, sorry, storyteller, and a life lover. So he has his own podcast um, in German, Learn, Lerne Storytelling, Learn Storytelling, uh, the business podcast. And he stands for implementation, uncomplicated and direct work. And he helps people to build up their business. So very welcome, Mark. I'm really happy to have you here in my show. Yes, thank you very much. Nice to be here. So um, I got Mark to know, um, I guess it's three weeks or four weeks ago in Frankfurt at a workshop. Uh, it, it was a telly, a telly, it was a storytelling <laughs> workshop and he teached us a little bit about uh, storytelling. And I was really impressed about Mark and his energy because he makes some exercises with us. And it was really, It was really amazing how he was able to connect the people with their heart. And the, totally, the, the energy in the room totally changed. And I was so impressed from you, from you and your energy. So, and also he would start speaking about his vision. And I was thinking, oh my God, he's speaking from my heart. So I, I really was thinking, he's amazing. He's an amazing guy. And that was the reason that I really took the challenge and uh, the change to, to ask you the, um, to ask you if you be, uh, if you like to be a guest in my show. And I'm so happy that you said yes. So welcome again, Mark. Um, uh, first of all, I would like to know you. We are not always uh, a storyteller, I guess. Yeah. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about your journey. Yeah, the short story is the reason why I am a storyteller today is because no one wanted to listen to me when I was a child. And coming from our greatest pain uh, often comes our greatest strengths when we get older. And so I so wanted to know how can I speak in a way where I can reach people's hearts and minds, where I can, yeah, fascinate and bind people's attention on awesome stories and talking. And that's the motivation why I went my way. Great. And you, you start two years ago, I guess. Yeah. Uh, no, I started, I, I was in the state service in until 2012 hmm. and in 2012 uh, change occurred in my life and i decided that the state service is always the same and i got a little bit depressed of the routine and so i quit and i found my way into being self-employed and then i had uh, four around four years of being self-employed as a successless coach and hmm. had years of struggle where i was so into learning more about coaching and personal development, but I had no single idea of how to do business marketing and how to reach people. And two years ago, I placed the decision to fully focus on storytelling. And that was the beginning of the biggest business change I ever had. Yes, because I, I was um, um, hearing from you that you, when you started, it was really, you, 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 you got so much followers in, in the Facebook group. It was really amazing. It was really fast. Yeah. yeah. So the point was, every overnight success is the result of some years of work before. Yes. And so when I took the decision to become a successful storytelling teacher, I asked myself, what can I do to get to this goal? And the only answer I could find is, I would like to practice storytelling every day. And so I used my little Facebook audience to post one story every day and i took everything i learned before i learned storytelling for coaching and for training and for live speeches and i transferred the skill to facebook wrote stories every day and so my audience has grown exponentially because the stories really touched those people and one big turning point was i wanted to make a course a storytelling course 
And so I, I set out uh, uh, advertising on my profile and said, hey, here's the course. And I don't know, two people or something said I'm interested. And I was like, wait, my, my bigger goal is to make influence in the world, to change something to reach people. And when I do some course now, and I reach, I don't know, two, three, four, five, six people, that's no change. That's nothing. It's like, screw it. And then I took the decision, I want to teach storytelling for free. I want to go into the, the free economy and teach it for free. And then I started my community. And that was another big turning point because the community really exploded in a short time. And that was huge. Ah, wow. And that I didn't know. So, and I would love that you talk also a little bit about your vision because you started already a little bit talking about the vision because I really love your vision because it's also my vision. So that is the reason to talk a little bit about your vision. Yeah. The thing is that we're, we're in a big change from the, yeah, to say from the separated self to the connected self. And the future, we have a, a really huge and fast development in technology. And we have so incredible technology to change everything. It's like incredible. And the question is, what good can we do with this technology? And what must happen that it can be this good? And the point is, we need a revolution of consciousness because when technology rises and consciousness isn't rising, we will use the technology for the same reasons we've been using technologies the last decades, and that's only war and destruction and too fast growth. So my vision is to be part of the conscious revolution and to help people to understand to find and to to applicate a life of connection to remember to, to to teach them how to feel that they are connected to break through the illusion of being disconnected and to enter the consciousness as a connected world connected with the humans with the nature and with the animals and to help with this and to inspire to go this way and to make it uh, main culture to go this way that's my vision so great great vision um so the people who are watching this show i guess they are also quite interested about storytelling so do you have some tips for the people how they can start storytelling what's the easiest what how what they can do I'm sorry, I have some connection problems at the moment. Can you repeat the question, please? Ah, okay. Um, I was saying, so um, if uh, people who are watching this show, they are maybe interested on hearing some tips from you how they can start storytelling. Did you get it? Some tips for storytelling? Yes. Ah, now the connection is better. Again. Yeah, how, how they can start with storytelling. Yes, yes. So the first and most important thing to understand is we are all natural storytellers because in every conversation we do, we do storytelling. So when someone asks you, how was your vocation? Then there are two options how to answer. Answer one is like, good. What finishes the talk instantly and option two is you tell a story of how the vocation was. So the skill of storytelling is natural in our body, in our minds. We are born storytellers and we just have to reactivate the skill and learn some techniques to make it effective and to make it um, entertaining for our listeners. Mm -hmm. So, and when you just remember that you're a natural storyteller, then the first thing you can do is you train with a simple technique. Shall we dive into that? Yes. Okay, okay, let's go. So well, let's pick some, maybe, you think vacation is a good idea? Yes. Oh, no, I have a better idea. Uh, let's pick some, something where you, a workshop. You've been to a workshop, to a training, and I know from experience that sometimes it can be really hard to 
to tell someone how was the experience of a workshop because often it's very personal, very, very intensive and what words to you. And then you can use a uh, following technique to tell the story of maybe a workshop. Three parts. Part number one, before. Part number two, process. Part number three, now. To applicate this. Before I went to the to the what before I went to the charisma training, for example, I had no idea if charisma is a skill you can learn. And I was thinking like I think some are born with it and some not, but I was curious if there is something else to learn. Then process. Then in the workshop, the teacher gave us incredible techniques. For example, we looked in the eyes of each other and said something nice. And instantly, the other person lighted up and was like happy and, and received me as more charismatic. And I felt like, oh my God, I can, I can do something to be more charismatic. And then I returned from the workshop, now today, full of energy and full of curiosity what I can do. And I tried to applicate the techniques and I was more positive and I, I said nice things to people. And some weeks later, a friend came to me and said, Mark, You've been so much more sympathetic and charismatic since some weeks. What happened? And I was like, hmm. <laughs> Great. So, so it's, 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 it's um, actually very easy storytelling when we know how to do it. Yes. Isn't it? Yeah. And the, 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 main, the main thing you need to learn is people tend to overcomplicate everything. People love for what reason ever to overcomplicate things? <laughs> Maybe. I, I think my theory is that there are a lot of people who get profit from people thinking that things are complicated. Because the more complicated life seems, the more you need to pay to get it easy. So, and if we can get over that and just start to play around and be ready to make failures, because failures can be fun. And then we can play with easy techniques and become uh, achieve mastery much faster. Mm -hmm. Playing is the key. Yes, that's so great. And you you can really do it uh, very good because you are so authentic. So you don't think about this stuff. You do it only, and that's so great. And um, listen, I was li uh, reading in your bio, and I was reading that you laugh pen and paper role playing games. I was asking myself, what is that? <laughs> Pen and paper is one of the reasons I have the skills that I have today. <laughs> yeah. It's a game, gamification. Eh? Pen and paper is a mixture between social interaction, a book, a movie, and a nice uh, fantasy game. So imagine a table with some people. And I'm, let, let, let's, let's play. I'm the game master. That means I'm creating a world with my words. And you have got a character and interact in this world with your character. So I open the world by saying, imagine you're standing inside a huge forest and it's the evening, it's a little dark, you hear some birds singing, but it's getting darker and darker and a little fog is coming up. And suddenly you hear a crack, a noise from some meters behind you. What will you do? Uh, and then I have to start uh, reacting to to finish this story. So it's it's from per one person to the next person. So it's interactive. It's chaotic. Uh -huh. So imagine there are three people, for example, and maybe you are in medieval fantasy, and you are, for example, you are the elf hunter with your bow, and I don't know, with something like a lot of rings, Legolas or something. Then there's a human merchant or something, and you react and you interact. And then one, one player says, oh, I turn around, I uh, pick my sword and I prepare for everything that will come. And I, as the, as the world creator, I play everyone who is not a character. Like I create the world and I, I let some, some, I don't know, some rabbit appear or some merchant or something. Mm -hmm. So people can play in the world I create. And that's pen and paper. But I don't you understand why, why we call it pen and paper. 
because you have um, you have character sheets where you play with your uh, where you write down your skills with your uh, pen mm -hmm. and you a lot of things happening on the paper and I don't know how the name evolved it's just uh, I don't know okay okay that's very interesting and um, oh my god I forgot my handy <laughs> it's calling so um, what else would I like to ask you? Um, maybe a short uh, sentence about your challenges. What, what was your biggest challenge in your life? My biggest challenge yeah. was uh, I was broke for some years because I invested every little money I had in learning and learning more coaching skills, more personal development, but I had no single idea how to make money. So I failed all the time with my business and uh, never had money for anything. And that was the biggest, longest failure I had. And that's one part of my motivation today. Because when you are so broke so long and you see the mistakes you made. For example, I have many like coaches and co in my community. And yesterday, yesterday someone posted an advertising she put in a newspaper. And on this advertising, I could spot out like, like 12 errors that I made two, and who was the reason why I failed. And then I made like a 21 minute long video just analyzing how what you can different because today I know, but back then I, I, I made so much and work, 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 do, 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 do. I hope I get successful. The universe must support me, but nothing worked out. And it was so painful. I was like, what am I doing wrong? Please help me. And so seeing someone today is struggling with the same problems, don't know how to market themselves, don't know how to create offers, don't know how to, how to build the brand up, how to build a following, how to create the identity you want to be in the future and how do you want to succeed. It's like, it's like hurting me and I need to do something when I see this. And that's a big part of my motivation. Wow, great. So fantastic. So you, you uh, made this video in, in YouTube or in Facebook? In Facebook. In Facebook. So I have to look at it, <laughs> watch it. So um, because I, I've seen uh, there was a post in the community and the person wrote like the workshop. I organized this workshop and this, uh, this speech, speech evening. And it's in some weeks and I made so much. I was in a newspaper. I have thousands of flyers and I made this and that and that. And it must work, but no one's coming yet. And I'm really, really nervous now. What, what's the problem? And I felt like, I felt like it could be me. It could be me. I, I must do something. And instantly I picked my smartphone and I just recorded myself reading and giving feedback and saying, look, here is it. And that's what you can do it. And here and there and there. And People love the video. It was posted yesterday. There were lots of comments of, wow, helpful. And um, it's a good example of speed implementation and just doing it and just giving good value to people. Yeah, so great. So I also have to watch it. So thank you for yeah. this tip. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Mark, where can people find you? The easiest way is here on Facebook. Just uh, look for Mark Oswald and make me a friend request. And if you like podcasts and you speak German, then listen to yeah. Leanne Storytelling, the business podcast. And today we have uh, uh, 13,000 downloads. That's a huge milestone for me. Yay! And, Congratulations. And if you speak German and you go on www.lerne-storytelling.de slash resources or uh, just website and click resources, then you have like 13 different audio books, video channels, PDFs, guidelines. And one example is um, the guideline, the three steps to your story. And it's like, I don't know, 15 pages or something and just a guideline, step by step by step by step by step, how to create really good stories. And you just need to follow the guidelines. It's so easy. And with this, everyone can be an awesome storyteller. Wow, super. Thank you so much. And um, do you have any projects in the future where people can see you? So uh, this year, there will be storytelling live seminars, live trainings. And I'm going to terminate, terminate, I think it's terminate, <laughs> set the dates uh, for the seminars the next, uh, in the next weeks. And then you so, can see it on Facebook and on my website. Ah, okay. 
Great. Yeah. Go ahead. Have you said something? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, now you are. Okay. Closing. Good. And um, we'll give no, the no, talks no, from okay. time to time, depending on where people will invite me to be. I'm sorry, I have, I have lag. Okay, yeah, I, had, I had lag again. So, and. I'm sorry? Go ahead. Go ahead, okay. Giving speeches, depending on people, where people will invite me for the community to give a speech. And yeah, this year I'm following lots of invitations. So people invite me to their spots, to the communities, to their seminars, and I'm giving guest speeches and workshops. And yeah, and one big project to make the finish line for the projects is the Kairos camps. I showed the video and the seminar and people were really touched where I just bring together people, mm -hmm. them a space, and people can just live out their skills in a safe space and feel who they are when there's no one to make them small, where they just can evolve, and where it's wished for the people to be great, to express themselves, to be present, to share their skills, and to be awesome. Yes, that's so great. Uh, thank you so much, so much. So um, the time is over, and um, if there, if, is there anything else what you would like to add, what is really important for the people? Well, what I like to add is if you want to work with me, I do one-on-ones, just contact me. And, 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 yeah. One thing is speed implementation. So if you just say, I want to inspire people, I want to be more visible and get more customers, more attention, then use this moment to implement it and just write a Facebook post where you write the following. I've just seen an interview between Cornelia and Mark and it really inspired me to take action. And in the future, I want to share more of my business with you. And that would just with a, with a, with a photo of you no links in the in the in the beitrag in the post no links in the post just a little text a picture and mark as two in this uh, post so you will get more uh, range and implement it try it and see what happens you will like the results Great. So thank you so much, Mark. Um, it was really a pleasure to listen to you, to speak to you. And I thank you also, the, I think all the people who are watching this show and I hope Mark and me, we were in contribution for you. And we both wish you a very beautiful weekend and we will see us next week again. Bye-bye. All my love to you. Bye-bye.